So, uh, I'm João Cabado. Um, I'm here to talk uh, about uh, a little small idea of when and how should we use quantiles and percentiles. First of all, Merry Christmas to all. So, I think it's time we start to say that. <laughs> Thanks to Manuel and Bright Pixel and all the community to have to having us here. I think it's a, a great thing we, we have these meetings. So, let's get started here. Okay. <clears throat> So first, why does this matter? Well, speed matters. I think nobody will disagree, right? But everyone wants responsive services. Besides that, things start to get slow before they break, usually. And that's another, another thing that we should uh, worry about speed. So a quick wrap up here of what's the percentile and the quantile, if you, if you are still have this present. So we have here, and I'm, I'm going to try to point out. So we have here. 20 people sorted out by 8, right? And what we have here is like the, if we go over 80% of the population, we have someone with 1 meter and 85. So our P percentile 80 is 1 meter 85, right? On the other hand, the quantile is just the inverse of the percentile uh, function. So what does this mean? This means that the quantile of 1 meter and, with, uh, 1 meter and 85 for this population is 80%. So just what we have here. Are we, are you, are you with me? <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> so there, there's something interesting about these two functions. So one is an absolute measure, this one. This is a, rel a relative measure. So this matters why uh, uh, the space of results of each of them uh, 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 changes, and that's like the key of this talk. Wait. <clears throat> so, what do I want to tie this in? So we have here, uh, uh, this is an example of one of uh, our service radiators. So this, this is for one of our services. And I like to tie this in the, the service level indicator. So service level indicators is what describes the performance of your service at a certain point in time. <coughs> and here we, for this, we have the P99, so percent 99 uh, uh, for short, and the median. Uh, which is not exactly the P50, but let's forget it. <laughs> but the, the, the percentile 99 for this service, I'm not sure which other time range, but it was uh, 349 milliseconds at this point in time, and the median is 73 milliseconds. At the same time, we have here the service level objective. And as a service level objective, we have that this service, so this is a, a search service, as a service level objective of replying or, or, or providing a response under 600 milliseconds. So what does this mean? So this means that 99.72 uh, of the requests were under 600 milliseconds. So even with the a, with a P19 of uh, 349 milliseconds, the slowest requests were still, there, there were, were still some slower than six, 600 milliseconds. So, here we have the usage of percentiles and, qu and quantiles. So quantiles for the SLOs, or service level objectives, and percentiles uh, for the service level indicators. Uh, again, so this is, a absolute, this is a absolute measure. So this can grow indefinitely. You can have a service taking seven seconds. We have them. And, uh, 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 but, and this is a rel relative measure. So it can get past an, uh, 100% or lower than 0%. Now getting when, around when to use this. So Weers loves microservices. Nobody loves microservices? Are you all fed up with them? Is that it? <coughs> so I've seen some, peop some, 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 some people, and I do like microservices. And when you do like microservices, you just build lots of them. And that's one of the problems is how do you handle that complexity? So what we have here is, again, one of the service radiators we use over there in our company or in our team. <coughs> so you have uh, six, seven, eight, eight microservices. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm uh, seven. <laughs> I'm feeling at counting. <laughs> so, but here, wh what I want to showcase, so, is how, how using percentiles over quantiles or quantiles over percentiles can help us. <coughs> so we have these two rows. So in the first one, so this was a, just an exercise for, 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 for that I brought here to ask you. In the first one, we have the percentile. And in the second one, we have the, the 
the quantile. So which one do you think is easier to read? The quantile. And why do we think that that's easier to read? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that I was trying to, yeah, but, that, but that, that's true. So you're just seeing where, it's, where it makes it easier to read. So it's easier to compare the numbers when they are on the same scale, right? So each of these service have complete different uh, service level objectives. So we have here a service that's, that is supposed to provide a response under 20 milliseconds. And we have some other. So this one is supposed to provide a response in, in less than one second or 1,000 milliseconds. So. <clears throat> So having all of these numbers with different scales, it's much harder to figure out what's, even to, even to set the color thresholds, which is true. So but it's much harder to do that rather than having just these, these, these columns. So this is a board we use that we have on the, on the dev team room. And we can look at it and easily figure out if something is failing. So this is, this is one of the ideas. And I wanted to, to share with you and to see if, if you like to adopt it. But Using quantiles when you have lots of information, it, it, it's very interesting. <clears throat> so another, another, uh, uh, another uh, 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 use case for quantiles, or when, I, when I used them and they, they were very useful for me, was when I had to do an, a temporal analysis. But first, let's get, let's get back to the standards effects. So anyone watches the standards here? So, who lives in London. So EastEnders is a very popular soap opera which has been going for like uh, uh, 20 years, not so, maybe 30, 30 years. So <clears throat> there's the EastEnders effect. They, they say that it occurs less right now than before, but the EastEnders effect is when EastEnders end. So I think it's from 7 to 8 p.m. that it goes on. It's like uh, press cert in Portugal or something like that. So, but when it ends, everybody gets up, they go to eat their tea in the kettlebell, and they open the fridge. And this, this causes a massive electricity spike <coughs> that some, some years ago it, it sent the, 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 the power grid down sometimes. And it still happens. <coughs> Where do I want to get with this? So this still happens in, 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 in our services. I'm not sure if you have had any service that, that, that had a, a very specific profile usage in terms of time. But we have it in, in, some, in some things. And even when we automate things, th th this also happens. <coughs> So why, why I'm talking about this? So this is an analysis that I had to do. <coughs> I, can see the, I can see the colors very well from here, but well, I'll try. Can you see them from there? Yeah. Well, more or less. So what we have here, again, is comparing different days. So, so this is a 23rd to maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not trying to count again <laughs> while in the presentation. But, and then we have the, the different time periods. <coughs> so, what we can observe with this, and this is an analysis that, again, was much easier to do having this uh, a relative measure and, and comparing the different time ranges, is that so we had a, a very special release here because everything was very bad. But after this, what we can notice very well is that at certain times, like here, like here, extenders effect, where is it? So extenders effect may be here. <laughs> At, at 20. <clears throat> so we are also seeing uh, uh, periodic uh, slowdowns and, and very frequent slowdowns uh, 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 happening at the same time periods. So by the way, this was something that I did with, uh, the, with in Kibana to, to get this. And, and it was very easy to compare and to provide the view. Oops. After and uh, before and after the release, how the, the, the traffic profile was changed. So this was the client release. And I think it's so, and it helped immensely because when you are doing this kind of analysis, if you miss anything or if you are, it's very easy to get confused and this does help a lot. <coughs> and then to, to end this, so how to, uh, uh, which tools and techniques? So I've been using uh, uh, Kibana and Grafana on the visualization side, backed by Elasticsearch or Graphite or Prometheus. So either of these offer uh, quantile uh, operations. Some techniques that I think it's, are very useful for us to know is the reservoir sampling. So this is used in drop wizard metrics if you use it, but some other uh, uh, metrics libraries also use it. It's very important to know histograms. Prometheus format uses them, and it's like the geometric way to, to, to do it. And well, I think it's a matter of, uh, of you building it and running it. So I think that's always the same. 
if you are interested in things like this, please reach us out. I'd love to speak with you in the end.